Hello, this is Jason Levitt. Welcome back to Moon Temple Dreaming. We're going to be doing a sample dream interpretation session, which I call dream reading. Here with Theodore Sturgeon to uh, talk about a recent powerful dream he had. And I'll be talking back and forth between Theodore and you to, uh, as I explain why I ask the questions that I ask, which pieces are macrocosmic, which pieces are microcosmic. Um, sit back and enjoy. Take notes if you want. I am. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so I should just like uh, go right into the dream, just close the eyes and... From the start. Okay. Uh, about a minute, minute and a half, two minutes. Okay, so... Slowly so I can wait. First of all, in the dream there, there's a definite conscious awareness that I'm traveling through time. What was the date of the dream? Three days ago. So okay. that's a minus three days. Thursday, right. Okay. Um, awareness of time of, of Yeah, it was a like an emotional experience a little bit where you had the sense of like, oh I'm traveling through time. I almost felt like I was on a horse. <laughs> almost felt like I was on a horse. Okay. Um, and then once I got to this what seemed to be like a predetermined destination. First thing I remember is just feeling uh, a lot of heat uh, from the sun, and um, then I remember feeling uh, really the warmth of the sand between my on my feet and between my toes. I'm going to kind of skip to uh, a session where there seemed to be a lot of like I, I imagine them as slaves in white robes, um, and they were like kind of marching. A little bit, and they were like, ra, 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 and um, I remember when they were doing that, I felt really, really afraid, extremely afraid. Um, and yeah, essentially, the dream just kind of went further into almost. It was like my emotional body was downloading what it was like to live in ancient Egypt as an emotional experience. Which kind of again is breaking down the boundaries of time, and when it's coming into the body so emotionally real, it, it's confusing me a little bit. Um, so those are the parts that I guess I remember at, at this point. I know there's a lot more there too, but uh, since I'm not writing my dreams as the dream <laughs> master suggested, I'm still I gotta write them down. Okay, so we have our. Um we have our macrocosmic uh, information. We have a situation and we have a dynamic. Um, now we ask some questions to get some more details along each piece. Um, so the first experience you had was traveling through time. Mm -hmm. So some people could interpret that as uh, an active past life uh, journey. Um, you can interpret it however you wish. Um, I like to not give things names so much. Uh, so that it can remain its own thing. Um, also, it's all theory, right? Yeah, well, it makes sense. So you're traveling. So metaphorically on the big picture, you're moving someplace. Mm. Energetically, emotionally, spiritually. Mm. Uh, growing in some way in yourself. When you get to where you're going to, or there's a message for you at this place and at this time that you need now. Mm. Um... Also, feels like you're remembering. Uh, there was heat from the sun. Now, do you remember the environment? Yeah, the environment. Um, initially, it started off with a picture of the sun and the and the and the sand. It started off with me. Actually, I think I was naked, and the heat was just really noticeable. And I was somehow staying alive as I felt all this like extreme heat and walking through the sand dunes. It was it reminded me of like in movies where you see like kind of ancient Egypt with a lot of uh, a desert and a lot of ripples in the sand dunes. When you were walking when you're out there, so you can you can see the, the wide desert. Um Ooh, and in many ways it almost feels like that is assimilated to that sense of time travel. That almost now looking in reflection, almost like a gate or a portal okay. of 
We're yeah, gonna but, yeah. Let's stick with the, right. the details. <laughs> yeah, right. So you're out in the desert. Yep. As you're looking out on the horizon, uh, do you see uh, before you see the the men, the people in white robes marching? Before you see that, um, it's the, it's midday. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not even say it, but it is. Okay. Um, can you see structures? Can you see other people? Uh, anything in the sky? Um, not initially. Um, there's a period where I have that, that almost like, a, like in movies where there's the mirage, where the heat makes the heat waves. Mm -hmm. um, and then, <clears throat> then when I walk through that, it transitions into this like really hustle bustle. I mean, I'm calling it in my mind an ancient Egyptian town, but I don't really know if that's what an ancient Egyptian town was, where there's a lot of people. And it almost feels like there's a celebration that's going on. There's, there's some sort of big celebration that's taking place. Celebration, lots of people. And this is before the, the white, the people yeah, in the white Yeah, before it's raw, yeah. Um, raw, okay. Um, so it's, it's celebration like a marketplace? or Yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a marketplace. There's people like, yeah, there's a little bit of movement. There's also some, some images with um, people working with uh, king cobra snakes. Um, snakes. Yeah, snakes is a huge um, part of what comes up in the dream. Okay, so we have the we have the symbolic imagery, uh, snake snake totem. Um, it's typically metamorphosis, rebirth, um, something old dying off for something new to come through. Um, and whatever you see as or feel snake energy to mean for you, go with that. If this were your dream. Okay, so we've got the marketplace, so we have a busy place. Yeah. So, macrocosmically, we have a busy environment with lots of people hustling and running around and doing their thing. Huh. Um, and were you encountering or interacting with anyone or just kind of watching? No, in many ways it felt like I was being ignored. Almost like people couldn't see me. Okay. Almost as if I was in invisible. So if we ran with one of the first analogies of if this is a life regression, uh, you could be visiting there, um, like through one of those one-way mirror type of interactions. Okay, so you're observing. You're somewhat separate from what's going on. You're not inter non-interactive. No, and, and much of that feels like uh, coming, like it stems from a disbelief within myself of like, am I really here? Okay. Like emotionally, there's like this self-doubt happening. And it feels like that's why I can't be seen. But anyways, there's okay. so much. This is a big dream for me. <laughs> so if you, if you take that message that the people around you aren't seeing you, and you look at where you are in your life and what you're working on in your life, you're going through a spiritual awakening, and you're breaking through boundaries. Can you find a place in your life where you're not feeling seen or heard? Yeah. Okay. So I mean, there's many areas, but okay. if I were to say what the prime one thread is, is it's this feeling of like my essence not being seen by those around me. It feels like in many ways, like my true self is not really what's in display of okay. other people. So in that place, you have an invitation to send your breath like we did with the nightmare work, and probably won't do it right now for purpose of time, but mm -hmm. when you bring up that scene or that emotion in the memory of that scene, and you have that experience of I'm not being seen, you look back to your life and see where am I not feeling witnessed, where am I not feeling acknowledged by others and by yourself, by ourselves. The way to work through that would be to put, bring up the memory of that scene, put yourself back in there, mm -hmm. and then breathe into it. Feel where that sense of uh, separation or isolation or being pushed out or however it feels. Send your breath into the emotion. Send your breath into sen in the, the sensation. And then listen for and pay attention to what images come up, what other emotions come up, what memories wow. come up. <clears throat> and you can do this with every scene um, or just the ones that you feel that there's, there's something there for you.